I think you know what I mean. There was no getting a word in edgewise anyway. But basically, I just let people talk. So for, from, from your assessment of the interviews and confessions, uh, I'm going to ask you the million dollar question. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you I never answer that question. <laughs> so what do you do instead? When people ask me, I, mm -hmm. actually I had a book launch for one of the other books. And Jeff Neorota said, well, now that you have another book, can you tell us who you think killed your death row? <laughs> no, I don't answer that question. <laughs> and every now and then, I have an idea. Mm -hmm. I was actually, again, with Wilfred Mahanda, we were having dinner, and I said, oh, you know, I always thought it was X and Y. They came out of the US. They had all this radical claptrap. And he literally put down his drink and put his hand on mine and said, you have to take my word for it. Mm -hmm. Those two had nothing to do with it. Oh. So I just don't answer that. Mm -hmm. But the best question I've ever been asked is um, if I could ask anyone in the world, mm -hmm. dead or alive, who killed Chitepo, who would I ask? Mm -hmm. Who would you ask? Harry Hammond mm -hmm. and, and why? Because I think he might, he would know, he would know more, and he has really kept his head down. Mm -hmm. But all these guys, you know, Enos and Kala, they're all kind of running around and periodically they say, I know who killed Chitepo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. <laughs> as, in, as in who. But now, an interesting uh, thing that I, I would really want to know from you. At the time of uh, the assassination of Herbert Chitepo uh, in, in, in 1975, um, Kenneth Kaunda was then the president of Zambia, appointed a commission of inquiry to look into this. And a number of Zanla Kadas were implicated in, in this and they were arrested as a result of that. Kaunda was both very partial. Okay, his foreign minister, his minister of internal affairs, was a man called Aaron Milner, who's from mm -hmm. Bulawayo, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, who was very partial to Zapu. That may have been part of it, but it was also, you want to kill people, do it in your own country. Mm -hmm. You know, don't go around, don't go around blowing up Zimbabweans in, in Lusaka. I mean, that was, you know, that was just an affront. That was beyond everyone I spoke to who had been in Lusaka, even who was on the high command. This was not, you know, you do not give sucker to a liberation movement and allow this. Mm -hmm. So, but Kaunda, there's, um, partly from my work on, 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 on Rhodesian independence and on the Lancaster House con conference, mm -hmm. I've come to see Kaunda as really savvy and sly. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think he ever gets the credit for being quite so, you know, quite so good and sometimes playing this innocent. Um, but he, um, so that basically, I think a hundred, over a hundred people are arrested right after the funeral, the whole leadership. And then maybe 1300 cadres are confined to bases. So, I mean, is that, Zanla is effectively crippled for 18 months, during which the Rhodesians...